Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour 3, and although we're in the Spearhead 1944 DLC here, what I'm going to show you applies to all of Armour 3, um, whatever DLC or whatever mod you're running. And what we're going to look at is how you can access a free cam mode when you're in a single player mission, and also how you can teleport around the map. And then I'm also going to give you some lists of different console commands that you can use. Now, whenever you're doing something like this, you have to be the... Um, admin of that particular session which means you can't just do it in any old multiplayer um, session where you're online because you won't have access to the console um, and also often you won't be able to do it in a single player scenario either unless you're running a local uh, version of it on your on your computer now what i'll do is let me just go into one and i'll, I'll kind of show you what i'm talking about and you, you kind of kind of get the idea so for example if I go into multiplayer and I go into the advanced browser and I go into my server for example here skill speeders uh, armor server and I connect here and I log in so we're going to go to the mission select screen and I hit slash then hash login and then if you weren't set up um, with your steam ID on the server parameters, you'd have to put in the admin uh, password, but I don't have to, because it recognizes me as that. So now if I go to, um, let's do Normandy, and let's do Combat Patrol, I think probably, yeah, let's do Combat Patrol, because that'll load fairly quick. Um, I'll be the team leader, and we'll say okay. And then uh, we'll be the US Army, the enemy can be the Wehrmacht. And then we will load in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, um, let's just choose a mission. So what we're going to do is, there is a camera mode in Armour 3, Splendid Camera, which you probably know about as well. But we're also going to use the Spectator mode, which is really powerful. And you may well have come across these already, but if you're new to Armour, these might be a very pleasant surprise. So here we go. So we're initialising the mission. And then it's going to start... Right, okay, Gambler, so if I press Command escape, control. I know I'm the uh, admin because I have access to the debug console here, which gives me certain controls. But also down here, we have access to the thing. So if you go into the camera mode, this is where you can take screenshots. Um, you've got the controls in the top right. Um, in the top left-hand corner, you know, we can turn that off and we can look around. Um, but let's just come out of that. Um, but... The free cam is actually spectator mode. So if you hit spectator and then we go up, we're actually in free cam mode. And as you can see, we can see where all the units are on the map. But if you press backspace, they all disappear. So you could make cinematics like this, couldn't you? Um, and the game is live at the moment. So if you tell your AI to wander off and do something, or there's a battle going on, you know, you can um, you can watch it from whichever angle you want, and you can follow particular players around, and it's all very powerful. In the description below this video, I will list, uh, I'll put some links to uh, articles that go into much more detail about all the different things uh, that you can do uh, in this particular mode. So as you can see, it's very, very powerful, very, very good. But one of the things, obviously, you'll want to do when you're in this sort of thing is you want to be able to teleport around the map, don't we? So let's come out of spectator mode. And this is one of the console commands that we're going to need to put in. Now, in the description below this video, you'll find a link to a GitHub called Armor 3 Debug Commands. And there's quite a few of these articles knocking around the web. Um, but it gives you all these cool stuff that you can put into the, um, uh, the debug console to do stuff. So if we take this one, player on map single click, if Alt then player set pause Alt pause will allows you to teleport around the map. So you paste it at the top here, and then I think you click local exec like that. And now if I press M for map, so I'm th that box there because I'm the squad leader. If I just press Alt and click left click somewhere, there we go. As long as you can get do that, obviously you can't spawn into a tree or inside a building or something like that. Um, you can see I've, I can move around the map. All my fellows are going, probably wondering where I've gone to. Press M, press Alt. We, we've spawned back with them. Hello, fellows. Don't worry. I am back this way. And there's loads of other really cool stuff you can do. You can you know, spawn vehicles in, all without having to use something like um, SSPCM, you know, single, simple single-player cheat menu, which ultimately is very, very powerful. But one of the problems 
you have even when you're admin if you are um, running a custom scenario that you've downloaded off the Steam Workshop you probably don't have access to Zeus so the ability to be able to go into Spectator um, you know and then move around um, and look at things is very very powerful and the ability to use a console command to um, teleport around the map is also very very uh, useful indeed so in the description below this video you'll find the link to the armor 3 debugs command article which is very good I'll put a link to uh, Bohemian Tractor's official wiki which goes into real detail about the debug console there's the end game spectator mode ignore end game is just the update it came with it's nothing to do with when you can do it but the spectator mode and then we've got um various fu the, the functions viewer as well which is where you're kind of putting in um uh commands uh, into the debug console sort of thing like that so anyway hopefully you'll find this useful what i find is sometimes this stuff can seem to be qu quite complicated until you actually have a go um, and when you've once you've actually had a go and you kind of um, here we go is the enemy and you, you've had a go at teleporting around the map or doing these various functions all of a sudden it sort of becomes second nature and what you're probably going to do is you'll have a, a notepad um, text file on you know on your computer so that when you when you're in a game and you do want to do these things you'll have a quick access to it so there we go hopefully you found this video useful if you have it like if you want to see it that, or the same press subscribe and I will, of course, see you again soon.